This is JWH 1969 doing a one package mail day. I ended up getting in some mystery packs a couple weeks ago from D Man 18729 or something like that. I'll put the link down below. They were full of value. I'm pretty expensive, but they were definitely worth it. I, as a matter of fact, I ended up buying one pack for myself and watched it get busted and decided to buy a pack for my daughter. Did, did really well in both of them, so I'm convinced the packs were full. Uh, full of value so nice job putting those together uh, together buddy also great job of shipping got a fed xbox that actually required a signature and the cards were actually tucked inside of there so i've never had a had cards show up that well protected so thank you nice job again um go through these real quick they are mixed together only because i'm too lazy to look up to see what what was in what pack so my daughter remembers which one is hers i know that um, she's not home right now. She'll be home soon. And I'll have to show her what, what we ended up getting in. But Austin Pettis jersey. Damon Williams jersey. Um, Chris, if you need this, let me know. It's yours. Um, got an Andre Johnson jersey. Um, that's I already have this one, but you know what? It'll stay in PC unless I trade it for something else PC. Um, sick patch. Chris Johnson. Two color. Number 250. Got a Blaine Gabbert two color patch. Um... It's a beautiful card, War Room, and it's number to 50. And Clay, if you need that, let me know. Uh, this one's not for trade. It's a four-color Matthew Stafford patch. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's number 21 out of 25. Got an autograph from uh, National Treasures of Aldrich Robinson. Number to 99. A Keith Tostin autograph from Plates and Patches. Number to 249. Got a Ryan Kerrigan, uh, Kerrigan autograph from Absolute Spectrum, not for trade. Um, ended up picking up this Brandon Harris from Texans. I haven't done, as a matter of fact, I think this is the first autograph I have of Brandon Harris. I haven't picked up any of his stuff this year. I think I'll keep this with my Texans for now. Um, number 99. Sick four color patch of Mike Kafka from Plates and Patches, rookie autograph. For the Hall of Fame PC, um, I had a couple of his cards earlier, just never held on to them. This one I think I'm going to hold on to for the PC. Earl the Pearl Monroe, actually his son played basketball at the same time I was playing uh, football in college. And so we actually knew each other. He was a little older than me, but we have a connection that way. So I'm going to hang on to that one from National Treasures, pretty sick. And here's another one I'm going to hang on to, so it's not for trade, but it's a Kevin Johnson two-color patch autograph from the USA jersey, it's a prime, I think that's from Elite Black, and that's number to 49. And then the hit my daughter was really excited about, of course I was too, um, Michael Jordan. It's like the gold hollow foil version. Um, serial numbered five out of five. I've only seen one of these on eBay sell, and it was pretty astronomical, but everybody goes nuts over Jordan stuff. So that was pretty cool, pulling out of a $50 mystery pack. So, and, and that card is just thick, thick. So thanks for shipping the Magnetic. Um, follow up last night, guys. I asked some advice on a Panini Redemption Exchange and kind of felt like I got the short end of the stick on this one. But um, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, I, I need it. I need to do something. But I'm usually one that, you know, cards are cards and it's a hobby and it's just for fun. Don't want to raise too much of a stink over things like this. But uh, Mike and Dan and Ryan... And uh, Adam, Adam, thanks a lot. You gave a lot of great advice to uh, today, but you guys were able to uh, kind of give me um, get me in the right perspective, in the right mindset to address the issue. And you know, um, I'm pretty laid back, and I usually let my words speak what I'm thinking and try to explain. And so that is the attitude I ended up going with. And I visit with the customer service lady, very friendly. He explained I wasn't trying to get a boatload of cards for free, just wanted to um, express my discontent at what they felt was a fair exchange for a very nice redemption card. And with that conversation, she said, you know what, you really need to talk to our customer service manager. I know he'd want to hear from you. And so she gave me the direct phone number for him, and I actually called him, and he was very aware of the situation before I, I even gave him a call. And so we were able to talk through it, and once he was able to look at my account and saw what had happened, very understanding. Um, I did explain again, you know, 
great. If you want to send me something to make up for it, that's fine. If you don't, I'm not going. I'm not going to ask. It's a hobby. It is for fun, and you did what you felt you needed to do. I just want to make sure you understand. I didn't. I didn't appreciate it. It's not what I would consider a a, a fair exchange, especially when we're talking about redemptions. Um, technically, it's their company that's required to put the autograph in the pack if that's what they advertise. And when they're not able to do it, it's a redemption, and they should honor redemptions. That's why I really don't care for the expiration date on redemptions either. It's not the consumer's problem that they didn't have the autograph at the time. You would think it would be the producer's. But getting back on, on track here and on topic, very understanding. He assured me he would take care of it. I didn't ask what I was going to get. Um, anything from this point on would just be a bonus. And so, guys, uh, kudos to, to Panini. Um, they responded appropriately. They listened. They, they made me feel like I was important. And so if I do get anything or whatever I do get in return, it would just be a bonus knowing that the person on the other side of the phone understood exactly what I was saying and took the time to listen. So, guys, again, thank you for the great advice. Um, if I don't get anything in tomorrow, I'll be at you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Take care.